Welcome back guys to a new Boombitch video and we have some exciting stuff to unlock here. So we've already unlocked the cannons there. We haven't dropped them down or anything so let's go ahead and collect the last one there. Let's also collect the troop health there. And that's lovely there. And now we're going to collect the building health there today. So let's drop these guys down first. And I'm feeling I want to switch one over here. Move this guy away. And put in a long range cannon there so that it can target rocket choppers across the gap over there. And we'll move this guy somewhere else. I'd say somewhere over here. Looks like an. No, let's move it over here. Rocket choppers there. A couple more cannons. Let's see where should we put them. One there. A couple more somewhere, but I'm not too sure where to put this guy over here. So let's just drop this guy in the center over here and yeah we'll just leave that sniper tower where it is and okay so that's it that's all the defenses right there so let's just put it there cannon there okay so let's go ahead into an attack we'll move around the cannons if we need to depending on how the opponents attack us but let's go ahead rank 16 16 this guy does not have cannons He's got a boom cannon over there. So let's see. So I'm going to have to drop down one there, one there, and the rest of these guys down here. So drop these guys there. Wait for the mortar to target the heavies first. And now drop down the laser rangers here. Uh, let's try and save those heavies at the top over there. If they die too early, then the. Ooh, this guy's. Okay, we just, no, we absolutely lost every single one of those laser rangers there, unfortunately. Let's do a shock over there. Might have to do a shock up there as well. Come on, Zookas, you can take out that end room, that's fine. And then you guys can die afterwards. Uh, we'll be able to retreat, uh, bring them back over here with second wind. So if those Zookas die over there, that's fine. And now let's just do a second wind over here. Okay, and where are we? There's a couple of shock mines in the center over here. Okay, I'm not sure where where things are gonna go right now. We got a couple of mines around here. Let's we might have to do a reef there. In a second here. Opponent has retreated. Okay, so we can take it a little bit easy here. Uh, let's just shock the doom cannon here for a second. We've got three mines over there. How badly are they gonna get hurt there? Not too bad, they're still alive. If we can save up for a uh, second wind here, that'd be amazing. Come on, once we once we take out this engine, we can grab a second wind. And lovely stuff there, guys. So he, he only got two of our engine rooms. He might have been doing a rocket chopper attack and just did not have the uh, the troops to complete the base. So rocket choppers, they can take down the first couple of engine rooms, but as soon as you start losing even just the two, Rock Chopper is already down like 50% health there. So let's go ahead. We can flare to the last one over here. Just about, I hope, there. Now the flame tower did not go down there, but I think we have enough damage here. Come on. And woman is 57. Very, very slow, but I'm not complaining since he did retreat over there. So let's take a look at the uh, opponent's attack over here. See if there's any... Yeah, he did Rock Choppers here. So now with the Boom Cans, guys, it's there's single shot defenses everywhere across the space over here and it is also relatively spread out as well so you're not really you have to have a large gb or something here to really take out these end rooms so there it is that cannon over there that was the right position for that cannon there you, you saw it took out that rocket chopper there so i might want to move a cannon over there as well that might be a good idea so let's move that guy over there actually that way this cannon can target any rocket chopper that comes across the gap as well there so nice and they can't be shocked as well because they're standing um i think one tile across yeah one, one tile across so if you put an engine over here and it's one tile in between the cannons there that means a uh, shock can't shock both the cannons there and let's just move this guy over here i'm not sure where let's move it there okay there a little bit of 
updating the base as we see the attacks there definitely a good idea to watch your replay replays guys and of course move around the defenses if you think they need to be repositioned so let's take a look at this guy i think here let's just stick with no we'll keep the our single boat of zoo because over here i seem to like that and let's see so we got the laser ranger or the laser beam, I should say. Sorry about that. But he does have the two shock launchers. So that's what I'm afraid of mostly here. So let's drop one, two over here. And see where they go off to. Have a feeling they're going to go off to the right hand side. But drop them there. Let's see where they go off to. I might have to reflare over here. Just to keep them on the uh, down here. We'll take Kavan with them. And we'll let some of them get picked off. That's fine for now. Darn it, why are they going over there? Okay, and we'll drop these guys over here. If that flare can run out, please. A couple more seconds here. Let's shock the shock launcher and that flamethrower. These guys over here, I think they should do well because there's loads of defenses right behind one another on this section over here. Okay, let's do another second one over here. Those troops are quite low. We pretty much lost all of the... Heavy's on that side. Do, just do another second wind over there. Shock over here. Machine gun shock there. Okay. Now we're looking okay. We just have to worry about the mines over here because the laser rangers just simply do not have that much health at all. Maybe we gotta find another uh, troop health node in a tech tree and try and open that as quickly as possible over here. But we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's do a shock over there. A lot of mines there. I hope. I'm hoping those two heavies there can can at least activate those mines for them okay and what i think i can do here is shock there and just flare straight on to the engine over here and there's no way he can defeat this time over here two minutes 29 28 yep so he had a good chance there i went up against a uh, four engine base a couple of days ago there and i did lose it because he had the shock launchers but today we are uh, winning over here so he's got a cannon to contend with over here he's doing a shock on that tank just hit a mine there a boom mine tank's gonna hit another boom mine there no nope, unfortunately not so there's a cannon over there okay so maybe i should move something across yeah so let's update the base once again guys a lot of updating the base what i want is a cannon over there so let me switch this guy across put this guy over there so that there now it can target rocket choppers if they're over here so let's go ahead and we are on a 3x win streak, lovely stuff. He is still going there. Let's collect this. And I believe now can we grab the... No, we can't. We don't have... We're missing five keys left. So once we have that, that that's going to be pretty good. And we might actually go back and grab the heavy boost as well, since we're using a lot of heavies. No point in going through the whole season without that extra heavy boost. Giving us, giving us a bit more health and damage there. So, fingers crossed, one more chest to collect. We're on a 4 axe win streak. Keep this going, we can get up to rank 17 in no time, of course. So let me know where you guys are, guys. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like, of course. So let's drop these guys over here. So there's loads of defenses behind one another over here, so we'll get loads of value, value out of these laser rangers. Let's get ready with a shock for a second. Let's do a preemptive shock over here. And there it is, okay. So a lot of mines and such, but we do have Kavan over here. So hopefully we don't have to worry, worry too much about these heavies. Come on, heavies, go over the mines. There it is, okay. Ooh, that's a bit painful there. Let's do a shock over there. We're simply powering through because we have so many troops right now. Uh, let's just do a second one, though. They're about to come around. And I'm just going to flare right onto it, actually. There's no point in wasting time over here. Uh, we know that we're going to get the win, but we might as well just be aggressive and try and scare the opponent a bit or something so three minutes 13 he's already retreated i didn't even see it at the start but there it is lovely stuff there we need at least four end rooms though i mean there it is 19 stars some from the extra win streak of the day so that's nice to see there and we might get into rank 17 in this video that might be pretty good there so we're already on a 5x win streak over here can we keep this going let's keep going okay let's see so we've got a blaster in the center over here. Got our stock, shock launch right there. This is a very nice area for laser rangers. 
And I'm not sure how we're going to get over there. Okay. So let's just drop these guys over here. And we'll do a shock over there. And we'll just do another shock over there as well. Kavan in with them. And hopefully with the laser rangers, they can start, they can simply blast their way through this area. And we might want to do drop these guys over here. See if they can work, work on that side over there. A lot of mines coming up for the laser rangers. That's going to be very painful if they go over them. Yeah, they are going to go over that. But I have to do a second wind here eventually. But we need to put, we need to support these guys over here. Those guys, let's just do one second wind there. They, they're they looking quite low. Let's do another shock over here. Hot pot is coming out as well. I don't think, yeah, we're not going to get that far with these guys over here. Zookas are going to be exposed to that hot pot damage. Let's do a shock over there. Okay, some of them are coming down here. Ooh, those Zookas are so lucky there. Come on, take out the hot pot at least, guys. Okay. No, they're not going to be able to take out the hot pot there. Let's do a shock. Okay. And we're still working our way through. We're going up the center of the base now. I'm watching Kavan over there. I want to do a second wind where he's at. Try and bring back some uh, dead troops if we can here. A couple of, a couple of Zookas would be super nice there. Come on, Kavan. Where is the GB? We need, we've need. we got 23 GB. We need just a few more over here. And there it is. There's our second wind there. He's on our last one though as well actually. So unfortunately I think that's our second wind gone. We lost too many troops there. But we're still going to be able to collect the engine rooms there. So those guys are going to take that one out. And we're going to work our way over here. So the laser rangers perfect for when the opponent has loads of defenses behind one another but they don't seem to do as much damage you know there's less of them on the boat as well compared to a boat of uh, zookas over here so let's do a shock over here on that machine gun here and then we'll just collect our last uh unlock over here so this is going to be the building health i believe it's going to be our first building health or, or i'm not sure i have to check my stats here but uh whichever one it is gonna be nice to have that extra 50 percent building health definitely going to slow down opponents for us so let's go back one minute 30 yeah i don't think we had any chance even if he um didn't take us down even quicker than that let's just go back i don't care about the time there and let's collect this one once the milestone goes away lovely stuff there that's unfortunate about the win streak there but let's keep going over here and this is nice there so let's grab that building health definitely been wanting that for a couple of days now and we'll just do one or two attacks over here. The video's already getting a little bit long, but we'll just do one attack here and see what, uh, what happens here. I've got no doubt we can we can now get into rank 17 with the building health there and all those unlocks that we did. So let's find an opponent and see what what he's got for us. So rank 16, 16. Uh, he's got loads of boosts as well. He's got the 50% building health, 50% uh, defensive building damage, 100% troop health, 50% troop damage. Okay, so I think what we'd better do is let's drop these guys over here. I'll drop them down right there. Okay, and let's see. So, flame chore. I, I will shock the flame chore there. Come on, go on up there, guys. Follow him. There's the hot pot coming out there, so let's do a shock. Okay, if those heavies can stay out in front. We haven't lost any any laser ranger just yet, so that's good. There's the hot pot gone. Curl launcher is about to be taken out there. And let's do our first second wind over here. Okay, now that they're gone, let's focus on these guys over here. Drop them down. We'll do another second wind here in a second. I like where Kavan is, so let's just activate a second wind there. Ooh, we lost quite a couple of laser rangers there in front of that in front of that in front of that engine room. Do another second wind there. Okay, where are we? So we got I'm looking at the troops on the right hand side over here. Let's so let's do a shock for them. And okay, so the troops up there are looking fine. 
a lot of second wind troops there as you can see from the purple but I think we can power power through here okay we're almost there let's just do a shock here only a handful of troops laser rangers they simply don't do too much damage here to instantly take out the engine room but luckily a load of defenses are right in front of each other over here so let's uh, get on it so there it is so two minutes can we get two minutes ten seconds couple of laser rangers there even second wind riflemen helping helping us out there a lot of second wind heavies right there guys that's what saved us so two minutes four seconds let's take a look at what the opponent has got for us he's using rocket choppers unfortunately we moved that cannon there but he still had to shock it there and one minute 40 and okay so i'd say that was a success there building health for sure Gavan over there died at the very end of the battle there i wish if he had died earlier there i think he would have he would have had much far much trouble there it is okay so 10 stars lovely stuff and i think that's gonna be it for today guys i think that's pretty good progress we're right there by tomorrow's video i'm guaranteed we'll be pretty much there i think what i'm gonna do now is get the get the heavies heavy boost right there just because a lot of people have the extra building uh building damage there and i want my heavies to last a little bit longer so a few more seconds and then we'll just keep moving forward yeah there's nothing else it's no point in going down this path since i don't really um think i'd be using those extra gb would be nice but none of this stuff is really essential right now we just want to keep moving forward we've got where's the where's the heavy choppers so which path do we have to go down to get heavy choppers we have to go all the way across okay so this is actually a very long path we have to go all the way there go there go all the way over here to get those heavy choppers okay that's f weird and then there's the inner tech tree. okay i see this is actually quite odd okay so this is a brand new thing they've done there so you can reach the inner tech tree uh, by just being in the next engine without having to unlock the very last one okay guys that's going to be it from me. Very, very long video, but let me know where you guys are at. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.